Hello YouTube, this is Ardwolf. With the recent release of Dragon Age Inquisition, I have decided that I cannot buy it because I have not played all the way through Dragon Age Origins, which is the first game in the series. So we're going to play that. So we'll see how um, well I can do here. It's been some time since I've played this at all, to be completely honest about it. I'm playing a human mage. Uh, mages are supposed to be fairly powerful in the game. I haven't really observed that to be the case in the past, but that doesn't mean much because I didn't get all that far. So we're going to uh, have already done all of the cosmetic stuff and we will bump up some attributes here. That's looking okay as far as these abilities go, to be completely honest. I don't know that I have a particular preference. We'll to go with coercion. Uh, primal, you have these several schools of spells here. Um, these are like the common spells. It looks like I already have Arcane Bolt. Um, Flame Blast is actually a cone attack, which is kind of neat. Rock armor, that sounds useful. I have two to spend. Uh, and I'm going to take those two. I really actually like flaming weapons a lot. Uh, we're going to play on normal difficulty. And let's get started. Per my usual practice, we will wait on through a the cliff loading screens. Overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalinhard stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. There's going to be a lot of cutscenes in this game, which I'm going to try not to talk about. Mages over. may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This They're total douches. This is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. It will turn you into an abomination, and the Templars will be forced to slay you. This is Lyrium. The very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you, and remember the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The apprentice must go through this test alone, first enchanter. Are ready. As I think you can see, it's uh, the graphics in this game are a little bit on the dated side. Um, certainly, the uh, characters are dwellers in the uncanny valley um, but I don't think it's a bad looking game and these quests that I just got are probably the DLC quests I am playing the ultimate edition which includes all of the DLC I believe I can hit J so these are the DLC um, 
this is the DLC content. This one I need to wait to go to that. And these two guys I think are in the party camp, which you get to later. This is the the quest that we're actually on. Now you can uh, move with WASD or with the mouse. I generally prefer to move with the mouse. Um, you can also uh, press tab to locate highlightable items. And you can right click to move to a location. What's this do? Ah, restores health. That might be useful. Actually, let's uh, throw that on the hot bar. Let's take Let's a look get at started. the statue. Looks like that's all that I can really interact with here right now. What is a... Okay, so you can see on the mini-map there's a Wisp Wraith, whatever that is. And we're going to not bother looking at those uh, how do I get to this thing there we go now this is possible combat so we're going to uh, right arcane bolt of Fire Blast, to be honest. What do we have for inventory? Uh, not much. Blood Dragon Plate, I'm guessing I'll never get to use in, with this character. That's a DLC item as well. Combat is over, I will start to regenerate health and mana, as you can see. Got another one right here. And these lightning, uh... These arcane bolts are doing pretty good damage, but... Right. Kind of huge, at least at this point. Someone else thrown to the wolves. As fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well, Mouse. No, I don't remember anything from before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim, and you don't have much time before you end up the same. I... I don't remember. I ran away and I hid. I don't know how long. That has been said before, but you don't know the danger. There's something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago. But you... You may have a way out. I'm going to try to avoid spoiling you on that. The spirit is not far. 
Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. I have been through this particular. Yeah, that's that is where my the test will take. The creature can be anywhere, but it manifests there. I have been through this origin story before. There are six different Dragon Age uh, origins stories. And which ones you can pick depends on your race. However, if you are a mage, you only get the choice of one. As you wish. These are actually super annoying to fight because whatever cooldown they have, it's a lot less than mine. I keep wanting to tab target, which is not good in this game. Okay. Some stuff of interest here. Black City. The Codex, of course, is uh, like the lower book. I think you can... I forget what the hotkey is. Actually, it might be here. Ah, it is. So you can unlock these as you go. And there's uh, achievements, too. But if you're playing it uh, through Steam like I am, the... Uh, they're not Steam achievements, they're only achievements through the game itself. Which, Another I don't care about that, particularly. Way. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. You are not the first sent here for such testing. Nor shall you be the last, I suspect. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Mm. Is that what your test is called? I know little of your mortal ways. I do know that a demon has been called, and told that a meal awaits. It will not, cannot leave until one of you is dead. Of course, you are not the first mortal to seek my aid. I am not here to assist you, however. My purpose is to seek perfection, creating the ultimate weapon for the pursuit of valor. Without a doubt, in this realm everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. How dare you accuse me? I am no demon preying upon helpless mortals to steal their essence. I am a being of honor and valor. I am a warrior. You are insolent. But your will is unquestionably strong. Very well, mortal. You prove to me that you possess the strength to resist this demon. Go. Prove your worth as you must. I am confident you will succeed. So I don't get a weapon, I guess? Evidently not. So a little white arrow points me to the objective of the currently active quest, which is still this harrowing quest. Here we go! So I, 
I'm going to try to punch the wolf to death. That's a great idea. Unfortunately, the uh, flame bolt spell just does crap. Right. The flame bolt spell does set it on fire. It's either you or me, and it is going to be me. And then, unfortunately, it also has kind of a lengthy cooldown. Be cautious. There is another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. It's a sloth demon. Mm. So, you are the mortal being hunted. It's probably too and lazy to fight me. One, is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. <laughs> You'll just run away. I'll not waste time with a chase. Not even for a meal. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. You have a very nice staff. Why do you need me? I do. Go. Use your weapon since you have earned it. Be valorous. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I, I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? It's true. I am quite powerful in this form. When I wish to be. I welcome the opportunity, if it is my choice. The mages in the tower are quick to volunteer others, as you well know. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear, if you'll teach me. That's nice. The teaching... <laughs> It's so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. Mm. I think then we're done. Leave me to my rest. And yet he apparently holds the key to the next step of the quest. Oh, what is it now, mortal? Are you not dead yet? You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Surely? Oh. Oh, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Correct. Let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? Mm. Have you ever touched your temper? No. The answer is a tongue. Time to feast. What a delight. Stand still, Will. As you wait. Is it just me, or do you actually think you have a chance? You are a pest. 
and not worth all this exertion. I will teach the mouse to be the bear, if only to get rid of you. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go then, and uh, defeat your demon, or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. I've taught the mouse. Do not assist in bothering me. I'm tired. Uh... Okay, so I guess I have to go back this way, huh? He's tough. Ish. Talk to it first. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. Oh, I shall. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now. And soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. I hoped that maybe you might be able to, but I never really thought any of you were worthy. What? They were not as promising as you. It was a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember their names. I don't even remember my own name. It's the Fade, and the Templars killing me, like they tried with you. You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a Two master demons, enchanter actually. with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in.
No, 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 no. It must be your choice. Quickly now. The Templars are going to kill you. Can't you feel the sword at your neck? They believe all magic evil. The Fade evil. Once you are here, you become what they fear. What? Yes, of course. I mean, I think I was. Isn't that enough? It should be enough. For you? Maybe they are right about you. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions. Careless trust. Pride. Yeah, it's not like I ever trusted him. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. So that was the harrowing now completed. That is not the end of the mage origin story, however. And certainly not the end of the cutscenes, which we will right? continue to enjoy Say for some time. Please. It's me, Jowan. Calm down. Just try to relax. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? It was harrowing. Is that why they don't tell us what it's about? I know I'm not supposed to know, but we're friends. Just a little hint and I'll stop asking, I promise. And now you get to move to the nice mage's quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. I've been ready for a long time. I'm afraid they don't want me to take the test. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. You've seen the tranquil around the tower, like a Wayne who runs the stockroom. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes, are lifeless. One of the reasons why this Templar mage uh, agreement is fairly creepy. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Did you hear anything? Is he all right? So we got a new is he quest. Right? Why do you care? Are you and best friends now? I'm just one curious. Thing I want to do is that look Templar around. Cullen said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He must be so As I thought, I didn't get a weapon. I just know I'll be terrified when my time comes, like Wendell was. He threw up every day for the next week. I have a hunch that's not just bugged. It's just that I didn't go through the. Uh... Hmm. Didn't go through the. Uh... Valor Knight, or whatever his name is, in a straightforward manner. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going here. Some, some apprentice. Classroom. So he's probably upstairs. I could probably disable those, but I've never bothered to do so. Uh, okay, so that is the active quest. So I'm guessing second floor basement. I'm guessing he's upstairs. These maps are um, a little on the goofy side. It's not real obvious that you can't get in there. I don't think, but you can't. As you wish. Must control the fire with your will. Keep the flame steady. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. That's 
what causes most of the injuries. Do you remember injuries. what the Chantry says about magic? But, 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 magic but, but, must serve man and not rule over him. Very good. And what do you think that means? Can anyone tell me? Obviously, there's all kinds of stuff. Concentrate both the sheep. To look at around. I put all my power behind that Including some non clickable NPCs. I always want to, uh. Another book of interest. Not exactly easy to click on. Looking at okay, so here's Irving is on this floor. So before we proceed with the quest, before we talk to Irving, I think uh, I will level up. I get three attribute points. I get a specialization now. Really? Uh, that might come later. So let's uh, increase magic to twenty and increase willpower to sixteen. Willpower affects mana pool. Um, a defensive spell would be a real good idea. I just get one. So I'm going to pick... Take rock armor since it's going to be useful. And before uh, here's Owain the Tranquil, who we might end up talking to here. Before we go talk to Irving the Head Enchanter, though, um, we're going to uh, I'm going to call this video because I'd like to keep these short-ish and uh, keep them um, confined as much as possible to the space within the individual quest segments. So we're about halfway through the. Uh, the uh, mage origin story so i hope that you have enjoyed watching and uh, check out the blog at ardwolfslayer.wordpress.com and subscribe to the channel where there's more of this coming and there's a bunch of other content as well on the way so uh, go ahead and do that you can follow me on facebook and twitter and google plus and those links will be in the notes below so check those out thanks for watching and i will see you next time